Martin Smart, welcome back to the shop. <coughs> and it is actually finally time. So this is part one of the uh, RG, Suzuki RG500 teardown and rebuild. So, we're going to split this into two videos, we're just going to have teardown videos, that'll be one separate series, and then we'll have the rebuild series. And in between we will have things peppered, peppered in videos of, uh, just like offshoot videos of uh, rotary valves, uh, flat sided carbs, um, this kind of configuration. We'll basically use this as a test bed, not as a test bed, fucking hell, as an example of, um, well, stuff. So what I've done is is I've removed um, off camera because well it's better to see it when you put it back together when everything's clean of the power valve servo motor drive with all the wires and ferrules and all the rest of the people banging on about ferrules. Remove the carbs, uh, remove the O-rings for the carbs. Now let me just quickly talk about the carbs themselves. So these carbs are all together with all their so you can't see shit are all together with their so. Uh, fucking throttle cables and everything. We'll deal with that as a separate entity and I also have a box um, with all the manifolds and the bolts. Some are missing washers, some weren't. There was an o-ring missing. And we get a bit of leakage and stuff. But there is an o-ring between the carb and the plastic manifold bit and then an o-ring that goes in there. So you can see where there's uh, these reliefs here for an o-ring with little uh, v-notches to nip it. And there's also that in the back of the cabs. But we'll go through that completely and I'll show you that when we actually do that. So, what we want to do now is I want to remove the kickstand, uh, kickstarter. Um, because it's just, look, it's just in the fucking way. Get rid of that so I don't poke myself in the face. Now, what I do want to say is, is you noticed I put these bolts into their respective holes for the... Um, Power, power valves, and the power valves are driven off one side because they're basically linked through a union, we'll see that later on. Um, when you stick bolts in these things, this isn't too bad. You know, when you put bolts back in things to just remember where they go and stuff like that, that's not too bad. The carb ones stick out about this far, so three inches almost. Don't do that, for the simple fact is if you twat them you can break the casting and all the rest of it. Move them, find a box, label stuff up and blah 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 blah. Another thing you'll need see me use quite often, and we'll go into this in the future with a bit more things, is when you rebuild engines, it is a good idea, when once you've torqued them, to use a paint pen, you can get them in all sorts of colours and stuff, and basically you can whack on a bit of paint like that to say, right, I've done that one or whatever, that's a bit excessive. But you get what I mean. Once you've torqued something up, you can put a bit of paint pen on it over the bolt and over the actual... Uh, mounting where it's fixed where it's fixtured so you can basically say right I know I've talked that one I haven't fucked it so as soon as you talk it get your pen out give it a dab you can get ones with thicker this is okay but you can get ones with massive heads they're best because you can just dot them a bit like bingo dotters in a sense um, I've also got a right skinny one here as well I usually use these to write on things as you can see there I put R on there because this is the rear if the front had a front cover which it doesn't we'd put our front on there there's covers on the other sides as well, um, if and when we remove them, we probably will remove them, we'll write on which side they are and all the rest of it. You can see actually on the cylinder, I can't look at that too well, but that says 2. It also says, you can't really see, you'll see it in a different video, but there's a 1 and then there's a 2 line there. Suzuki have been clever enough to put R and R on there so they know which sides are what. Um, when I actually went to take off the uh, power valve, um, arrangement which is in this box you can see there's our servo drive and all our uh, cables and what have you and the ends of our um, our pulleys for our uh, power valve I put F and R so front and rear because they are different lengths but if they weren't it might be important and um, that's the oil pump that we've had sent and luckily enough on these on the actual power valve um, main drive pulley there it has one two three and four and then on the actual power valve drives that go into here, that slot into here, there is little numbers that are in the casting saying 1, 2, 3 and 4. I think it's 1, 2, 
three and four, I think. But it doesn't matter because, like I say, I've written on which sides they are anyway. The whole point of what I'm yapping on about right now is just to make sure that when you take something like this apart, with stuff like, you know, inline uh, straight fours and stuff like that, four strokes and what have you, it's easy because there's only one cylinder head and it's blatantly obvious which way around it goes. With things like this, we almost have symmetrical heads. And when you take a lot of the fittings off that make it distinguish from one to the other, like thermostat housing there, once you take all this shit off, when you come to it, you go, oh, fucking hell. Which way around was it? I can't remember. And then you've fucked yourself. Now, there are little details and ways you can find out, but you don't want to be chasing your tail all the time. One of the best things to do, and I did a video years ago about it, is if you've got a part, get yourself a roll of masking tape, right right hand side, I don't know, clutch cover or something, not a clutch cover, but you get what I mean. Right hand side, whatever, tear, tear that off and stick it on it. You know, use waterproof stuff or duct tape if you you know you think it's going to get a bit blathered or what have you. Just label stuff up, wrap them around cables. Now, luckily enough for the power valve and for the carbs, I've taken them off as one complete unit and I did mark on which side goes where. <coughs> ah, excuse me. But you know what I mean? You have to balance everything out. Why? Sometimes these cables and stuff are biased, so your throttle's on this side, so maybe your union has to sit on this side, this is just an example. And if you put it on this side, by the time you get to the throttle cable, you'll realise it won't fucking reach, and then you have to switch around all your carbs, and it's just a lot of fucking dicking around. And it would have taken you five seconds. Dot something, take loads of photos, you know, um, I take photos as I go, uh, and you also have to have a reference, so it's also good to write on a post-it note, Right on the post-it note, stick it with an arrow going, this is this, and then take a picture. Because sometimes pictures, when you look at them, even then you've completely lost where you are. This looks very similar to the other side, and so on, and so on, and so on. Not wanting to yap on about this too much, but it is important. Because this is why, and how a lot of projects get fucked, is they start doing it, then the fucking daughter becomes a fucking man, you know, goes for a sexual operation or whatever. Then you fucking wife sleeping with the postman. Then you find out that the postman actually fancies you. Blah, 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 blah. But what happens is, is you come back to it fucking six months later and you're like, I have got not a fucking clue. Because two, you'll have two parts that look exactly the same. You know, people say, oh, what about bolts and all the rest of it? Well, you can always usually tell when you stick a bolt in, stick a bolt in. This one's hanging out this far and this one's fucking sunk in. So obviously you've got them the wrong way around and stuff like that. There is one or two bolts that are very, very special. Get yourself some little baggies off your little local weed dealer. But, you know, fucking empty out the weed. Stick your bolts in and then write on it what it is. You know, even to the point where, this is an example, and I've got very, very good at this over the years. This here has RG, you know, Suzuki RG, whatever, blah, 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 carb stuff. Now, if I write, this is a permanent marker, but if I write on this, it'll fucking rub off. So if I write, you know, an exclamation mark like that, leave it to dry a second, it rubs off, especially when you've got fucking all sorts, like oils and shit on your fingers, it rubs off. This is written on the underside of the lid. I've got very good at writing backwards. <laughs> but literally, learn how to write backwards in block capitals, even if you fucking get your S's the wrong way around, it doesn't really matter because at least you've written on pretty much what it is. Or you can just turn the lid on the underside, write it the right way around. It is completely up to you. The fact of the matter is, is now even thinking about this, you can't rub that off because that's on the inside. Right then, let's stop fucking around about organisation. Jesus Christ, boring. Let's take this uh, lever off and then we will, I probably won't even show you that, it's just a circlet and the whole thing lifts off. Then what we'll do is we'll kick on with actually removing the uh, oh, the heads. I call them the fucking heads. It's the heads, you know. Right then. Jesus wept. Fucking sound doing my fucking nutting. Got to remember to be very mindful of the camera. Come on now. Don't be a knob. You're going to be a knob, aren't you? Oh, why do I even fucking do this? <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, there we go. Off the splines. I can put that to one side and crack on. Right then. Have we got sound? We ain't got fucking sound. That'll be at all, you motherfucker. I've got, I've got sound, sound, 
Yes, I fucking am. Come on, J-Pan. This is going to be hard because I'm trying to do it and stay out of the way of the camera at the same time. Now, the engine isn't hot. People worry about warpage. It's good practice to go back and forth. They're all Allen bolts. If the head's under been under a lot of thermal stress, then there is a chance that when you undo it, but after all this time, I very much doubt it. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Right. These are all copper washers. Oops. I have to get some stainless. Maybe get some stainless nuts. Oh, you fucker, why did you go under there? Um, that's good to it. Trying to keep my elbow. Oh, that one isn't under. See, some of these, the studs come out. I don't know if this, that's intentional. God, that's an expensive stud. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One of the negatives of copper washers when you try and get them off, fucking magnet doesn't help you. Right, I'll we'll see how well I, do you know what, let's not do this. I was going to show it the camera. Let me just take a picture of this. Um, not, uh, washer. There we go. So you can see a picture there. You can see how these washers deform and crush. I'm getting some of these washers out. It was a fucking pain in the ass. Oh come on you fucking bastard, poke that end, lift that end, there we go. Right, that's, we're all done, might as well take that cap off. Someone said that this is some bronze stuff, this looks like it's on this cap, it looks like it's silicon is this, you see look, it's spongy, yeah it's silicon, just looks like copper grease. Right, let's get all these allen heads off. Wrong size, penis boy. Obviously. Why wouldn't it be? Ugh. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the flatness of all these surfaces and so on and so on and so on. I'm trying to keep my elbows out of the way. These look like they've got alley water or just normal washers actually, maybe steel. Um, I like alley washers actually. Someone's put these on, I think these are the kind of like a stainless cap screw. I don't think these were the stock ones. <laughs> right then. Right then, let's crack on. Uh, the Gentle Persuader. It didn't take much. Oh, oh. oh fuck me! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god! Someone's been having fun. Oh, I don't do a refinishing job on it, will you? Okay, now. Yeah, unfortunately, there's water everywhere. I even I've just pulled this off, and there's water on these surfaces here. You can see. Uh, gasket's probably shit. 
Let me write on this. I say get your paint pen out and put this is the rear one in it. So just so you guys can see, rear like that. Lovely. Don't use marker pen, it fun comes off too easy. Oh right. Oh look at oh, that's that's like gummy oh fuck me. This jelly like stuff I imagine is actually the glycol in your antifreeze. I can't see any fucked bits. It's alright, we don't need that anymore. Right, let's actually have a look at the balls. Mm -hmm. She's quite free spinning though. Can't do that by hand. Mmm. Mmm. Let me bring you in so you can have a look. Righty tighty then. <coughs> right. As far as I can tell, she doesn't look that bad. There we go. Let me bring the light in so we can actually see. There we have it. Not really that bad at all. They're not seized up. There's no water's really got in there in there. Pistons look good, no sign of any detonation. Fuck all carbon on them to be quite honest. Yeah, some scoring, light scoring me. Yeah. Two stroke shit in it. Yeah, looking all pretty fucking good, to be quite honest. Right. Let's pop off the other one. Right, let's crack this other puppy. Do you know what? I'm gonna zoom forward. Cause you don't need to see this shit again. And my hand is definitely gonna be in the way. Right then, this is where we're going to stop for a second because I want to talk about something that I've just actually seen. So, number one is, you get your Allen key out, you stick it in, and you crack these off. Uh, these off, sorry, you can't fucking see. These off, great. Let me move the light there so you can see a bit better. So yeah, you stick these in and then you turn. Then when you get to these fuckers, I like to hammer these in. Because even then they don't fit. Why? Well, because these are imperial fuckers. And then all of a sudden, because I was doing it from the top, I didn't realise. Look at all these fucking washers. Jesus Christ. So as you can see, there's a stack there of like, how many is there? Two, four, six, seven. Seven fucking washers. Oh, you see? Yeah, these don't match up at all. These don't match up at all, right? They don't lock together. So that means that someone's forced in fucking morons. I'd get my thread gauge out, but I'm too pissed off. So some fucking dickhead, dickhead, has not only got the wrong length, but he's had to space it out because he's forced. I bet that's fuck the thread, right? We're gonna have to put a healer coil in that. Yeah, that's massive. What's that? That's an inch, so that's what? 15 threads, 60, 15 threads per inch, by the look of it. Fucking morons. Fucking dickheads. So, what we have to do... I'll take note of that. Yeah, you see, the fucking thread pitch is complete fucking knobs. Jesus Christ. Do you know what? I just thought they would... Fucking... I just saw the washers. When I come to do it, I was like, you're fucking kidding me. So that one is a... Oh, come on, you fucking stupid pen. That one and that one are a fucking nuisance. And then this is the front in it. So let's write that one on as well. That's front. Fuck's sake. Fucking dickheads. It's fucking Japanese, you fucking dick. Oh. And it's not the guy, it's not the guy who's giving me this engine to fucking sort out, it's the fucking knobhead before and once I've seen that, that makes me worry because that makes me think what the fucking hell else has been fucking butchered. Why will that come out? Oh, we've got a spinning one as well, you see, fucking. 
it's catching. And no, before anyone asks, there is no way on God's green earth that that was meant to be an imperial fucking size. See, that one's fucking stuck. We're spinning, so we've probably got a fucking gnarly thread in there. How much room? Uh, it's right into the top of the power valve as well. Feck. Right then, let's just get, I'll crack the rest of these. And uh, if, when I'll go three, two, one, and we'll pull it off. I'll pull that off as well. And then uh, let's just crack on. Fucking dickheads. Still fucking sore about that. Oh, morons. What would that take? It'd... Just get the right fucking fit in, you dickhead. Just take one of these out. Take it to your local fucking Tesco's, probably. Say, oi, I need one of these. And then we'll go, yeah, yeah, that's a fucking... That's an M6. And then they'll go, here you go, what length do you want? They'll say exactly the same as that, sunshine. And they'll be like, right, yeah, no problem. But no, I thought what I'd do is, is I'd have to fucking muller the thread, to force that in. There's no way on God's green earth someone has tapped that out. We'll have a look at the threads. No fucking way. On something like this as well. On something like this. It's a fucking heirloom. Uh, I've got the washers out. Persuasion. Just to free it up. Now is this going to come or is this going to... That's going to come in it. Oh. Now you see these heads. Combustion chambers should I say. Apart from having other shit in them. Watery oil. These are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. So we've had horrible detonation. Well, not detonation. Oh, hang about. No, this has got a guff in it. Yeah, right there. It's got a little guff in that. Yeah, it's not a seat properly. And someone's give it a good fucking smack there. Oh well you can see that. I'll give it a fucking right good whacking with something. Fucking knobheads. Oh. If only I had a fucking big enough hammer and enough time. Same kind of thing, we've got this jelly shit. Pistons, you can see that one, that one's at TDC. And what's interesting as well is, which is what you can do with a two-stroke and you can't do with a four-stroke. Well, not a four-cylinder anyway. Uh, that's your side play. That one's more than that one. Oh, maybe about the same. Um, that's the clearance for thermal expansion. What you can see is that both this one, you can only just make out that one. Let me move it up a bit. There we go. What you can see there is that this one and this one are both at TDC. And that is TDC on the ignition, obviously, because it is a two stroke. So you always, with this arrangement, you always have two pistons firing at the same time. Oh. And that stud's come out. Again, one or two of these studs are coming out. Yeah, they've wallowed out these threads. Fuck me. Them ones compared to these ones, they're fucking tiny. They're fucking massive. Uh, it's all, yeah, you can. Let's see if I can get a good enough picture of that. It's all fucking gnarly in there. Shit. Cunts. There's no other word for it. Just cunts. Turn that light off. Oh. Right then, with these, I'll take a picture again, just so you can see, because the pictures seem to work out better. Oh, fucking hell. In the bowels. 
of the um, cylinder barrels, so there's four, there are actually some um, cap screws, that's how, generally nowadays what they do is they have external lugs, and then you, um, what's the word? Oh, that's not fucking like dickhead. Yes, generally nowadays you have external slugs, and that's how you mount your head to your um, cylinders. We'll start with ah, front first, fuck it. Good old fucking wear Allen keys. Now these will be stainless fittings, obviously, because they live in the coolant system. Oh, fuck me, that was a fucking tough one. The only problem is, is there's loads of sludge I can feel in the bottom of these. You can go. Now these are individual cylinders, completely independent of each other. I want to lift it out with the power valve thing all complete. Come on. Good girl. We've moved the engine from a different camera angle. Sweet. Come on. Let go! You see, it's covered in water and shite and all that goopy whatever's come out of suspension. I'm going to be resting my arm between all these, uh, all this studding. It's an excellent way to break your arm. <laughs> For fuck's sake. No, I'm going to shift it. Not that one. Oh, fucking hell. It's going to take fucking forever. Do the Batman thing. <laughs> it's quite insane actually. <laughs> right? Because it's like having literally four, four uh, two stroke engines just sat really close together. <laughs> you know, you generally don't see this. Any road. So what we've got is at the back, or I should say towards the centre of the engine, the bolts are this long. They've all got copper washers on. Lovely, Suzuki. And the uh, front ones, so like this and like this, they're longer. Obviously because you've got a curve, you can go deeper in. Deeper in is what she said. I've loosened them all. They're just not all coming out. Where's my grip? Oh, left the washer in the bottom. No, they're not going to fit in, you idiot. Oh, you fuck. There's always fucking one in there. No, I don't have the bloody tweezers on. Right, so we should. Yeah, we're free. Hey. There's no little sneaky fucker holding anything on. I don't think so, they're moving far too easy. Just pissed in there. <laughs> That's quite cool. Look at that, you know, just all these four pistons just doing the shit. Well, eh. That's proper TDC, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> So that when you get to TDC, this is the pro this is the problem with engine. One of the fundamental problems is right there when I push down, the basically the, the the con rod is straight, and all I'm doing is trying to compress the crank. It's only the um, uh, rotation of the angular momentum that basically keeps these things from locking up like that. I'm worried some of them threads are catching. Just ever so slightly because I can't get these fuckers out. That's the wrong Allen key. What are you going to do with that, you penis? Or maybe that one's actually still threaded in. 
a tiny bit. Oh no, maybe he's actually all the way through it in. <laughs> what about this one? No, that one's loose. Yeah, you're proper free now. And this one? There's only one that's in there that's refusing to play ball. We've got a gap at the bottom, we're just trying to get over them fucking dowels. I think that one's just about ready. It's the power valve. You can't see that. It's the power valve union there. There we go. Right then. That's one cylinder. That's the next cylinder. Take that fucking gasket off. It's actually impregnated on the back with some copper grease. <laughs> Never get over that. Never, ever, ever. Oh, get them bolts out. We'll get them copper washers out at a different time. Off camera. <sighs> oh! I just want to see how he's scuffing badly. No. She's actually in really good fucking shape. Yeah. She is sweet as. Absolutely sweet as. These pistons are fucking nearly new, aren't they? Rings are free. Rings are free and lovely. The opposite sides of the exhaust part, as you'd expect, where the, the, the ring gap is. Just because of thermal thermal reasons, and uh, we'll clean out the cylinders. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just shit. We'll clean out the cylinders, and we'll do an entire video on these cylinders. That says number two. We rub a bit of that, all that dirt off. We write a proper fucking word on it. A proper word. <laughs> So we're gonna call this, I think it is one, two. I'm not sure about the other ones. We'll call this, we'll start one here, so we'll call this two. It's already got two written on it. It's just wiped off, so we'll write two on that one. Oops, fucking stool. And we'll write one on this one. Like so. And, uh, Get that bolt out, that one remaining fucker has been a tight ass. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, well hang about, where's the split? Well you see, you can't split this like this because you'd have to have three sections then. You'd have to have a mid-section and two ends. Now there are moped conversion kits you can get where they basically have exactly that. They'll have, uh, it's for the Hyper 2 per Piaggio and there's probably other ones out there as well. Um, Side play looks pretty good. What we'll do is we'll measure the side play. We'll measure everything. Everything! And, uh, yeah, but back to what I was talking about. The split is actually through. It's, it's like a four stroke, or not a four stroke, because all four strokes aren't like that way. Um, it's just like you, you know, your regular plane bearing bike where basically there's a split across the crank lines. They have to do that, and we'll talk about more like that in a second video. Um, any road, these look pretty fucking snazzy. This one looks like it's got a bit more attack by the elements, a bit needs a bit more of a clean up. Let's rotate that round. I just want to have a look at. Oh, oh, fuck the skirt. Jesus Christ. Easy does it. Let's just have a look at the side. Yeah, this one's got a lot of shite in it. Looks more like oil than anything else though, but the piston looks pretty much... Yeah, they're all fucking new, aren't they? Are pretty much new, there's, there's, there's no... I was expecting a big fucking skid mark. We'll see on the other ones, but... 
it's all pretty much looking quite good you see you got them fucking bolts inside the actual casing as well to hold the fucker together there's a lot of fucking <laughs> there's a lot of shit holding this thing together any run um that's it for now part two will pick up while we're taking these cylinders off and doing the reveal of that and uh hope you enjoyed that i'll see you in a bit